most corporations pay quarterly dividends on their common stock rather than annual dividends. Bearing any unusual circumstances during the year, the board rise lowers and maintains the current dividends once a year and then pays this dividend out in equal quarterly installments to its shareholders. Suppose a company currently pays an annual dividend of 3.40 on its common stock in a single annual installment and management plans on rising this dividend by 3.8% per year indefinitely. If the required return on the stock is 10.5%, what is the current share price? The second requirement is, now suppose the company in actually pays its annual dividends in equal quarterly installments, thus the company just paid a dividend of 0.88 dollar per share as it has for the previous three quarters what is your value for the current share price now so we have d naught that is 3.4 g is 3.8 percent and required return is 10.5 percent and we can easily compute price that is equal to d1 divided by k minus g that is 3.4 into 1.038 divided by 0 0.105 minus 0 0.038 that is equal to 33.57 that will be the share price of the company and that is the first requirement and the b requirement is if the company pays quarterly dividends instead of annual dividends the quarterly dividends will be one fourth of annual dividend or quarterly dividends is equal to 3.4 into 1.038 divided by 4 that is equal to 0 0.8823. To find the equivalent annual dividend, we must assume that the quarterly dividends are reinvested at the required rate of return. We can then use this interest rate to find the equivalent annual dividends. In other words, we when we receive the quarterly dividends, we reinvest it at the required rate of return on the stock. So the effective quarterly rate is effective quarterly rate is equal to 1.105 raised to power 0.25 minus 1 that is equal to 0 0.0. 02527. The effective annual dividend will be the future value of quarterly dividend payments at effectively quarterly required return. In this case, the effective annual dividend will be effective dividend is equal to 0 0.08823 into future value interest factor annuity at 0 0.02527 and for that is equal to 1.79. Now we can use the constant growth model to find the current stock price and price is equal to 1.79 divided by 0 0.105 minus 0 0.038 that is equal to 26.67 so if the company pays quarterly dividend then the price will be 26.67 and if dividends are annual then the price will be 33.57 note that we can not simply find the quarterly effective required return and growth rate to find the value of the stock this would assume the dividends increase each quarter not each year